Today, we're venturing into the curious world of déjà vu, a phenomenon that mystifies and intrigues us all. Is it a glitch in the matrix, a trick of the mind, or something far more profound? From the corridors of psychology to the realms of neuroscience, we'll unravel the theories that attempt to explain why déjà vu occurs and what secrets it might hold about our consciousness. Ready to explore the boundaries of your own perception? 1. Memory-Based Theories Memory-based theories suggest a mix-up in our brain's memory systems might be the culprit behind that strange feeling that we've lived a moment before. Essentially, it's like your brain hits a speed bump in the road of memory processing. Instead of experiencing the new event smoothly, there's a hiccup that tricks you into feeling it's a memory being recalled, not something happening right now. Researchers have found support for this idea, particularly looking at the hippocampus, that part of the brain that's a bit like a librarian organizing and retrieving our memories. When the hippocampus gets its wires crossed, déjà vu steps onto the stage. It's not about traveling back in time or psychic abilities, but more about a tiny glitch in the brain's complex system of handling memories. Understanding this can actually be quite reassuring. Next time déjà vu hits, you can simply nod to yourself and think, ah, it's just my brain's memory department getting mixed up. It's a quirky little reminder of just how intricate and fascinating our brains really are, managing countless memories and experiences every day. 2. Attentional Theories Attentional theories offer an intriguing twist on the déjà vu experience. Think of it as your brain accidentally hitting the replay button on a scene, but with a tiny lag. Initially, the scene is processed subconsciously, slipping by without catching your full attention. Then, in a blink-and-you-miss-it moment, your brain processes it again, this time with full awareness. This double-take gives birth to déjà vu, creating the illusion that you're experiencing a moment you've already lived through. Psychological experiments have lent weight to this theory, suggesting our attention systems are more intricate than we might imagine. It's like watching a movie with a brief glitch in the stream. For a split second, the scene jumps and replays, and your brain scrambles to make sense of the sudden familiarity. This theory strips away the mystical veil of déjà vu, presenting it instead as a simple, if fascinating, hiccup in our cognitive processes. This theory can again reassure us that déjà vu is less about premonitions and more about the everyday magic of our brain's inner workings. Next time déjà vu strikes, you might just smile, recognizing your brain's playful trick of making the present feel like a memory. 3. Dual Processing Theories Diving into dual processing theories opens up a captivating explanation for the mystery of déjà vu. Imagine your brain as a supercomputer processing new information while simultaneously sifting through a vast library of past experiences. This theory suggests déjà vu strikes when these two processes, the perception of the present and the retrieval of something similar, but not identical from the past, happen to overlap. This mix of past and present doesn't bring a clear memory to mind. Instead, it sparks a vague sense of familiarity. It's as though your brain is whispering, hey, we've seen something like this before, without giving you the full story. This sensation is less about specific recollections and more about the feeling that this moment, this experience, has a shadow twin in your memory bank. I hope you're finding this dive into déjà vu as fascinating as I am. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and experiences with déjà vu, so let's get the conversation going in the comments below. 4. The Role of Stress and Fatigue Studies have pointed out that when we're running on empty or feeling the weight of stress, our brains might be more prone to dishing out a déjà vu experience. It's as if our mental energy is low, and in an attempt to keep up, our brain takes a few shortcuts, leading to that peculiar sense of having been here before. Think of your brain as a smartphone. Just like how a phone might glitch or slow down when too many apps are open or the battery is low, our brains can also glitch under the pressure of stress and tiredness. This can trigger the déjà vu phenomenon, making it a kind of mental mirage. It's your brain's way of saying, hey, I need a break. This insight into the role of stress and fatigue offers a fresh angle on déjà vu, suggesting it's not just a quirk of memory or perception, but also a signal from our bodies that we might need to slow down and recharge. So, the next time you catch yourself in the midst of a déjà vu moment, it might be worth considering it as a gentle nudge to check in with yourself and take some time to relax. 5. Neurological Explanations Here we find ourselves at the crossroads of psychology and neurology. It turns out, Certain neurological conditions, such as epilepsy, have a fascinating connection to this phenomenon. When we think of epilepsy, we often picture physical seizures. But what's less known is how it can influence experiences like déjà vu. This sheds a whole new light on the brain-based mechanics behind this mysterious sensation. Neurological research has shown that individuals with temporal lobe epilepsy 
often report experiencing deja vu just before a seizure. This area of the brain, responsible for processing memories and emotions, becomes unusually active, suggesting that deja vu might stem from a temporary electrical disruption in this neural neighborhood. It's as if the brain momentarily short circuits, creating an intense and sudden familiarity with the current moment, unrelated to our actual past experiences. This connection between epilepsy and deja vu opens up fascinating insights into how our brains work. It hints at the complexity of memory and perception, revealing that these experiences are not just quirks of the mind, but can be linked to very specific neural activities. 6. Psychological Disorders and Deja Vu Anxiety and dissociative disorders, in particular, have shown fascinating links to the phenomenon of deja vu, revealing much about its broader implications on our well-being. Anxiety, with its heightened state of worry and nervousness, can amplify the frequency of deja vu, suggesting that when our minds are in overdrive, deja vu is more likely to occur. It's as if the brain, in its heightened state, flags familiar situations with an undue sense of novelty, misfiring the signal of recognition. On the other side, dissociative disorders, characterized by a disconnection between thoughts, identity, consciousness, and memory, also share a relationship with deja vu. Individuals experiencing these disorders might encounter deja vu as part of their disconnection from reality, where the lines between the past and present blur. This offers a unique perspective on how deja vu can sometimes act as a symptom or a signpost, indicating deeper underlying issues within our cognitive and emotional landscapes. So, when we talk about deja vu and its connection to psychological disorders, we're not just discussing a curious anomaly of the mind. We're opening up a conversation about the importance of mental health awareness and the myriad ways our brains navigate the complex world around us. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human mind, as well as a reminder of the importance of taking care of our mental health. Now for our bonus point. Have you ever considered how this quirky brain hiccup has been viewed through the ages? It's like opening a treasure chest of stories, where each culture adds its own unique gem. In some corners of the world, deja vu is like a secret handshake from the universe, a whisper from the past, or even a high five from our future selves. It's been celebrated as a magical glimpse into another time, or a spiritual nod that yes, you're exactly where you're meant to be. Now, fast forward to today's lab-coded scientists and psychologists, who are equally fascinated, but are busy piecing together the brainy puzzle behind this phenomenon. Despite their best efforts, Deja Vu keeps its sparkle of mystery, thanks in part to these enchanting stories passed down through generations. These tales turn Deja Vu from a mere brain blip into something more. These cultural tales around Deja Vu not only fuel our fascination, but also keep the conversation lively and intriguing. They remind us that while we all share the same human brain, it's the stories we tell that truly bring our experiences to life. Interested to learn more about how our minds work? Learn about the illusion of control, or the role of intuition in our decision making. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts or stories about deja vu.